Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TVMI. It is Monday, May 18th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Now, let's begin today with some positive news. I survived Network Upfront Presentation Week. You know, every year it gets a little more difficult, but I got through it. And what I have for you at our website and in today's newsletter, I have a breakdown by each individual broadcast network, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, and the CW. I have the complete breakdown of what's coming up next fall and next season, and I have a link to each of the video casts where I did an analysis of the networks. The bottom line, very quickly, I think CBS has the best schedule overall. It's solid. CBS is basically guaranteed to win next season again in total viewers. It's not a perfect schedule. What I, what I did like about it was CBS was the only network to make a big move, and that was scheduling Supergirl Monday in the 8 o'clock hour after the Big Bang Theory heads back to Thursday following the conclusion of Thursday Night Football. I think the biggest omission on the broadcast networks was the lack of big moves next season. I think ABC's schedule is way too safe. They certainly could have done more. I think NBC has a mixed schedule. It will be carried once again by Sunday Night Football and The Voice, assuming that The Voice holds up. I think Fox is being more aggressive than recent seasons. That's a good thing, but there are certainly holes along the week. And the CW, I think, could have done a lot more. I think introducing only one new show this fall is not enough, but that is the Broadcast Network's next season. Check out our website. Check out the newsletter. I have more information for you on that. Let's talk about some current TV news. David Lynch. Now, as you know, Showtime plans to revive iconic Twin Peaks. Well, David Lynch had some difficulties with Showtime and walked away from the project last month. Well, it was announced that he indeed will be returning. He mended fences with Showtime. And Showtime has decided that instead of ordering nine episodes of this new version of Twin Peaks, it will up the episode tally. It has not said exactly how many, but we will have more than nine. As you know, Twin Peaks aired on ABC. It was a mid-season show. It came back the following season. It aired... From 1990 to 1991, it started off great, it got really crazy, the audience defected, and it produced 30 episodes. But you can see those initial 30 episodes closer to when Twin Peaks, the new Twin Peaks, will debut on Showtime. David Letterman, as we all know, is departing from the Late Show franchise on CBS this Wednesday. Well, it was announced that Bob Dylan, the legendary Bob Dylan, will be his final musical guest on Tuesday. And his final guest will be Bill Murray on Tuesday. Bill Murray was Letterman's first guest when he did his Late Show on NBC in 1982. And he was his first guest when he moved to CBS in 1993. Now, Letterman concludes on Wednesday the details in terms of what will happen on that show have not been revealed. My assumption is we will see a lot of clips, but Bob Dylan will be the final musical guest on the late night franchise on CBS with David Letterman. Tonight's guests are Tom Hanks and musician Eddie Vellin. The Mindy Project is heading over to Hulu. As you know, Fox decided not to order a fourth season. The Mindy Project Aired on Fox for three seasons, 67 episodes. It never got much in the ratings department, but the critics liked it. It had a core following. Hulu has picked up two seasons of The Mindy Project, 26 episodes in total, 13 each season. And the good news about these digital networks is there is now a place to go after you are canceled on the broadcast networks. In the weekly box office tally compiled by my colleague Douglas Pucci, Pitch Perfect 2 led the weekend box office with $70.3 million. That's quite a great accomplishment. Number two was the new Mad Men movie at $44.44 million in the box office. And number three was Avengers Age of Ultron, $38.89 million. There's a link for you in today's newsletter. We're a complete ranking of the box office breakdown from this past weekend. Now, coming up tonight, The Bachelorette on ABC is returning, and you certainly know that the traditional season is coming to an end, and the summer season is about to begin every time The Bachelorette returns on ABC. We have season finales tonight of Two Broke Girls, Mike and Molly, and NCIS Los Angeles on CBS. And we have the series finales of Drama Stalker on CBS and the following on Fox. And that is our daily video cast. 
from TVMI on this 18th day of May. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.